into generic. Hey guys, here. Welcome back to another episode. Oh. What the f smash talk today, my friends. We are here today. All right. I don't know when this video is going to be recorded, but we are going to be taking a slight or when it's going to be uploaded. But we are going to take a slight break from the whole DLC discussion thing. You guys know I've been doing some hot topics of DLC discussion. I'm working on quite a few videos right now as we speak. One of them is in the process of almost being done, so look out for that sometime next week. Hopefully, we'll have like two Smash Up videos that week and then two the next week. Hopefully, but I don't I don't know. We'll we'll see what happens. Anyways. So guys in today's episode we are going to be talking about this little thingy right here this little article we have going on this was by nintendo everything so shout outs to them having this thing and i know we haven't really covered a sakura article it's been it's been it's been a minute i think the last time we covered it was like in october when we talked about isabel like isabel first got announced and the reason why is because like i've recorded other article videos it's just the relevancy stops after a couple days and it's kind of hard to you know make it like good and at the same time within a certain period of time so hopefully this will be out sometime this week i'm gonna this, these are like quick little sakurai reflex sakurai videos where we talk about that just because i've said this millions of times before but you know just to refresh your memory it's the reason why i do these is actually honestly because of the fact that i like seeing behind the scenes stuff when it comes to smash brothers and you never know what can be revealed through this information there's also stuff on sakura's like sakura made a book recently and he talks about like some some cool some cool little trivia about like when he chooses characters and stuff i think that was really cool but anyways though guys in today's episode we are going to be talking about sakura reflex on smash brothers uh ultimate Ultimate 3.0.0 update, uh, shelving ideas, sharing features. Apparently, it also goes into the Joker as well. So I'm excited to get into that. So without that said, with all that said, let's get right into things. I ain't gonna keep you guys waiting too long. Why? <coughs> let's get right into it. Okay, so we have Sakura Flex on Smash Bros. Ultimate 3.0.0 3 update, shelving idea sharing features. Posted on May 18, 2019. Shout outs to my boy Brian. And also, like I said, shout outs to Nintendo everything. So, let's get right into it. Super Smash Brothers director Masahiro Sakurai returned to Famitsu this week with one of his regular columns. Some of his recent pieces, Sheed, 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 Sheed. The hell is Sheed, bro? I'm gonna hold on. We're gonna we're doing this. We're doing this. What did what the hell does she mean? A few moments later. Past or past particle of shy? Really? Is that's an actual thing? What the hell? Okay. All right. We're just gonna close. This. <laughs> what the frick? Uh. Okay. So. Oh, shied. Oh. Oh, it shied, shied away. Gosh dang it. I thought it said shield and like they made a time. Uh oh, retard alert. Retard alert class. Moving on. Most of his recent pieces shied away from Ultimate, but Sakurai wrote about the Switch game again for his latest entry. Sakurai reflected on the making of Smash Brothers Ultimate 3.0.0 update on his latest column. Additionally, he spoke about having to shelve ideas relation relating to cooperation gameplay as well as the new sharing features in the game. Here's our full translation. Oh, okay. So this oh, okay. Oh, 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 oh. I'm stupid. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't know. I didn't know. Golden Week has already become and gone. <laughs> Golden Week has already come and gone, and we've now transitioned into the Reiwa period. Or at least I assume that's the case, since I'm actually writing this before the beginning of Golden Week. After Smash Bros. Ultimate, I'm writing this immediately after the release of version 3.0.0 patch. So for the, I'm just, you know what? I'm going to call this version 3 patch. I'm not going to keep saying version 3.0.0, because that's it's a mouthful, brother. So for those reading, please forgive some of this sounding a little dated. First up, I'm glad the response to the release of Persona 5's Joker as a character has been so positive. I just realized this is Sakurai talking. Alright, um, uh, 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 let's get into it. First up, I'm glad the response to the release of Persona 5's Joker as a character has been so positive. There were still kinks that we needed to iron out, but there were plenty of people who were happy with the presentation. I think working hard on all those different battle strategies really paid off. 
If players can enjoy playing as the character, that's all that matters to us. And still on the topic of Smash, our concept of sharing has finally come to place. Hold on. Gonna make this easier for me in editing. And still on the topic of Smash, our concept of sharing has finally come to place. From the stage creator to the Mii Fighters and even the video editing capabilities, Smash Bros. Ultimate has become a game where everyone can access user created content. I have noticed that recently. In Smash 4, Smash Smash used to be very limited when it comes to like sharing things. Like I don't think you were you used to be able to share videos to people or like anything crazy. You couldn't share videos to people, I don't think. Back in like Brawl and Smash 4, especially Brawl, I don't think in Smash 4 you're able to do this either. You could edit like YouTube videos and stuff but that was very limited because I think you could only record in like five minutes or something like that it was some it was something dumb around those lines it was hype at first and then it it turned out to be trash and it was unfortunate it really was unfortunate but yeah it, it, it's unfortunate it is what it is though where was I Oh yeah, making this happen has taken a lot of implementation and many working hours with debugging also necessary at each step, which did mean the project ended up being pushed back well beyond the release of the game. Everyone on the team still continues to work hard though. Shoutouts to the team. Like I said, you know, the team works hard everything i think we should really be wary of that and you guys know the dlc of a game is not as large as the actual game sometimes like when the game gets announced when the game gets announced what the hell is wrong with me this is why i cut stuff out a lot but when the game gets announced the initial team that works on it usually leaves so they can make other games especially in big companies like in nintendo so i would assume right now smash ultimates dlc stuff and things of that nature it takes a while for them to make these characters just because they have a way smaller team which makes sense why it takes so long for this to happen especially since that the recent roster of fighters weren't chosen during development so they had to figure out all that stuff afterwards so i, I don't know I, I think it's really cool making this happen is a lot of limitation many working hours which debugging is also necessary each step oh yeah i already, I already read that, <laughs> read that. Stupid. for me personally i don't want the battles to become ones where the winner and loser are forced in separate categories and where only the winner can enjoy that fight. Of course, this is a game based on competition, but I don't want that victory and defeat mentality to hamper anyone's enjoyment on the game. While keeping it in the mind of the game we have, the question was always, what do we need to do to make things more fun? Hit it, SpongeBob. Psych! No, we're not doing that. I'm gonna try to get copyright. Can you get copyrighted on the fun song? I'm actually curious. I think you can get copyrighted on the birthday song. Not the Spongebob song, though. I don't know. Maybe, maybe you can. Maybe I'm just being retarded. I don't know. Moving on. This was one of the first points we hit upon. For this title, the truth is that I would have liked development to fall into three phases. Competition, sharing, and cooperation. The last part, cooperation, unfortunately ended up being shelved partway through. Cooperation? Na na. Na nu. Na ni. Na na. Anyways, we had lots of ideas and even began working on some of them, but getting to the point where we could have four human players and four CPUs competing online was difficult enough in itself, and we just couldn't do it. We managed to make it so that four players could battle online with spirits, but that was our limit. I have regrets, but it's also important to put those failures behind you. Get to the point where you have four human players and four CPUs competing online. Oh, oh, I get it. Oh, that would actually be kind of cool. Thinking about it, like you challenge the CP, they could, they could, they could made, they could have made like some kind of cool mode out of that. Thinking about it, oh, that's unfortunate. But I understand. It is, it is very hard. Uh, giggity, 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 giggity. Ooh. I would imagine doing so would be very difficult. You would have to. Oh gosh, that, that would be kind of. It'd be kind of a. It would be a big process. You know what I'm saying? A big process. Feels bad, man. But it's okay. We managed to make it so that four players come out along with spirits, but that was our limit. I have regrets, but still some more with this fans behind you. Yes. But we are able to make that sharing component a reality. We're still in the early stages, but many of the things that have created. Whoa, what the hell? Like, we're still in the early stages, but many of the things users have created have left me impressed. Oh, yeah. It's left me impressed, too, with the amazing creativity of people sometimes, you know? Like, I, I gotta admit, man, like, you got degenerates out there. You all have impressed me. Like, you all have actually impressed me. I am supremely impressed with how much you have impressed me. <laughs> oh, God, man. What the hell? Even today, we had a test battle at lunchtime, and I downloaded a few of the user-created stages that took my fancy. But that was really fun. Playing around with the stage formula can lead to many in-game accidents, and what's really refreshing to see. Some of them had us laughing our heads off. 
Oh my god. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Notice how Sakura said laughing our heads off, not laughing, not lamowing. They were la- they were l- laughing my head off. They were lamhoing. <laughs> they were not lamowing, they were lahoing for surezies. Ah! I'll continue reading, I'm sorry. While there are plenty of stages that don't lend themselves to a fair fight, they definitely suit those raucous... Oh, God. All right, this is going to just be the episode of Dictionary looking up. Uh. Raucous. Raucous. Making or constituting a disturbingly harsh and loud noise. It's like screeching. Oh. Oh. Oh, my. Um. Yikes. For those stages where there isn't any way to knock your opponent off, I guess it's only, your only choice is a stamina battle, for sure. While the replay editing mode still looks a little rough around the edges, I still expect to see lots of interesting videos from players of all levels. I wonder if people realize how unprecedented it is to have this kind of editing tool in one of our games. For sure, like, I, I clown on it sometimes, where, like, it's very limited, but, I mean, you can't just have the functions of Adobe Premiere in your Smash game. So, it is, it is impressive that they're able to have this this kind of thing usually games if they allow you to record their content it would just be like you record your content they wouldn't have a place to like edit your videos and stuff one thing I saw was there was this video and I'll probably show it on screen and you know shout outs to the person who made it they made a video where they recreated melee's intro scene I think it went pretty viral after its release but someone showed off the whole intro screen they made a recreation of the intro screen for melee and I didn't I at first I actually didn't know that it was was part of it, it was part of the ed, the smash editing i thought it was just something someone made on like premiere or something but no it was actually made on the smashing so it really shows that you can do a lot with the uh with the edited mode in smash you can really do a lot with it. it's it's really cool i definitely have to give shout outs while it's limited it's it's a step in it's a huge step in the right direction it's it's really cool so yeah it it, it and it kind of helps the creativity of people and i was thinking maybe i would do a video like having a series where i I go through some of this stuff like a showcase thing where I just like showcase everything I have like a 10 minute segment on something I don't know well that's that's uh that's that's behind the scenes work I <laughs> you're talking about this now anyways let's let's go ahead and move on while we call it UGC user generated content the truth is that the term is more nuanced than simply unrestricted content users create just allowing the user to do whatever they like doesn't always do work <sighs> Guys, I, I, I just woke up two hours ago. Don't don't roast me too hard. Also, for example, the reason for the one t <laughs> the reason for the one line limit of text in edited videos is not a tech limitation, but a problem of adherence to regulation. Sometimes words can cause difficulties, so the main thing for me is that players can enjoy our game while we continue to adhere to those public order rules and regulations. Oh yeah. You know, just in case someone, you know, uh someone ain't someone ain't um typing in what was it? <laughs> Wasn't a gripping and squirting and squirting and gripping and squirting and gripping. And long digging that pussy to the squirting and fawn, squirting and fawn, squirting and fawn. I want you guys to know that video made me very uncomfortable. Anyways, moving forward. The reason we are able to open up the playing field to users is exactly because of that independent spirit. I look forward to seeing that endless potential for myself as part of our sharing phase. It's really cool. I, I really like the I really like the, the replay editing mode. I think they did a really good job. I, I'm I can't believe I'm saying this, but I actually think it really did a really good job with the stage builder this time. I think we finally have a stage builder that's not trash. Now, Brawls Brawls was better than Smash 4s. No, 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 Smash 4s was not that good in the slightest. Brawls was not that good, but it wasn't as bad as Smash 4s. Smash 4s was very limited. This one is since the Switch is a prop is has like a proper thing for it. I know the gamepad is kind of it's kind of there as well, but the Switch is like I don't know. The Switch is more geared towards that kind of that kind of like drawing stuff on there. I don't know. I think it was pretty cool. Uh, so yeah, I definitely think the stage builder is dope. I think sharing it to people is dope because then you get to share with them online and stuff. I think it's really cool. So with that being said, my dudes, it is what it is. Uh, this is the end of the article. Yes, it is. 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 So that was pretty interesting. How I feel about all this Joker and Smash. You don't really talk about Joker as much as I thought he did. But yeah, I think it was pretty cool. I think it's pretty cool, pretty cool, pretty cool. It's w interesting how they were supposed to have a cooperation feature. 
like some cooperation features i'm assuming what they mean is like online i believe that's what they mean is kind of just the online stuff and like they have the sharing people they're working on the sharing part now obviously the competition stuff is there with elite smash and like the other version as well and then you have cooperation which isn't really there unless you're doing something like smash in like smash with another person you're going online and you're versing other, pre other people but even then that's still competition cooperation I'm, I'm assuming like i said what they mean is like i know i know i'm being stupid here but i think what they mean by cooperation is just cooperation between all the people online versus like cpus like they have like some local cpu battle or something i don't know like a local cpu oh bowser has raided the thing you must defeat bowser with mario compete with other people and they choose like luigi and peach i don't know something along those lines i guess what would what would be really cool is if they had like every week i'm not i'm not and i'm not saying they they have to do this i'm not saying that at all but i think what would be cool is if they had something like oh every week they have they would have some sort of battle uh they would have some sort of like event matches since event matches aren't in smash 4 they would have that on ultimate instead and instead of it being like oh you complete the event matches you have other people complete event matches online so you have like the double like say oh mario and Didi have raided the castle you must take them out you have a couple days to do so and you have to you have to play as mario or kirby you gotta find a mario player and then you cooperate with them to defeat like the day-to-day -day and bowser or something something along those lines like so something like that very simple but but I think it would be really cool. Maybe this will foreshadow what happens in the next Smash since Sakurai wasn't able to do it on this one. Who knows? Maybe someone will take that up. I think it's a really cool idea and it, like it, it puts a spin on event matches and I would like event matches to return honestly. But yeah, I think that is about it with this article. Not anything crazy. Like I said, the cooperation stuff was really cool and he, Sakurai taught he's basically talking about everything that was revealed in version 3 the stage builder event match well, well, stage builder, Joker, and then also the editing mode and how he's implementing sharing online to be a feature on here now. And he's probably gonna do that in the future when he releases the next character. We don't know, but that, yeah. That's kind of my. Alright, guys, so with all that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and get up out of here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Okay. Thank you guys so much for watching. The next video will come out hopefully soon i apologize if it doesn't but it should come out soon i don't want to keep you out too long and plus i don't want to edit for too long <laughs> but yeah so uh i will catch y'all in the next episode thank you guys so much for watching if you guys like this episode and want to see what else is on the grill you guys check out this whole playlist to the series in the description below and of course make sure to like comment and subscribe if you guys want more super smash brothers ultimate on your plate with all that being said i'm gonna get up out of here uh tell me what you guys thought of this article in the comment section below what you guys think of all this stuffy stuff with all that being said, you can put your spatulas on now, but keep it till on our baconators. Peace.